Now, Shelby County deputies say the woman who lives right over here, she finally surrendered around 830 this morning after a SWAT team threw what they call a flash bomb. It's basically a loud noise, bright lights and smoke. And more importantly, this whole thing ended without anyone getting hurt. I don't understand what, you know, why something like this would go on down here. It's quiet all the time. It, it's unfortunate, but it's quiet. There was a lot of cops, there was a lot of police up and down the street, and um, a lot of screaming and firing. Shots were fired. Luckily, no one was hurt. During the 12 hour standoff, investigators say Jennifer Davis shot at deputies and threatened to kill anyone who got in her way. She also threatened to kill herself. Hostage negotiators, excuse me, uh, were in constant contact with her uh, several times throughout the night. Uh, you know, again, uh, she was very emotional. She was very uh, upset. She was very distraught. Davis and her husband, who was a Memphis police SWAT officer, live in this Cordova home on Headley Drive and Ronald Road near Houston Levy. Neighbors say they've lived here for about three years and never saw any signs of trouble. Very sweet and very quiet couple. I have no idea. It's very unfortunate. Neighbors were on edge when SWAT teams and undercover officers surrounded the neighborhood. They were everywhere just saying, stay, stay inside the house, be, don't, don't come out. I was even shaken. Around 6 Monday morning while I was giving an update, I thought I heard a gunshot. Now investigators have us at least two blocks away from the woman's home. <gasps> That loud boom was actually what deputies called the flash bomb. The SWAT team used it to get Jennifer Davis's dogs out of the way. Nearly two hours later, we heard two other flash bombs. The SWAT officers noticed that she was unarmed. We set off a flash, uh, flash bomb just to distract her. We were able at that time to subdue her uh, peacefully. That was the goal, and this peacefully, no matter how long it took. In Cordova, Jackie Orozco, Local 24 News.